Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. I always appreciate that. Let me give you guys two quick disclaimers, man. I had to record this footage using the 4K utility, the Elgato 4K utility, but the reason why I don't like using it, number one, for whatever reason, the colors are a bit off for whatever reason when I don't know. I don't know why it does that when I upload the video, but also it drops frames. You're going to see a lot of pops in the frame rate. I, I do not understand why this is happening. If anybody else have ever seen this, please let me know how to resolve it. You're going to see it right here on this kick return, but I don't understand why it does this. But let's get into the footage as the frame rate is going to pop right there. And then we get popped as well and we're going to fumble. And we turn the ball over on the first play of the game. You're going to see the frame rate jump again here on this play. But let's take a look and see what happens. First and 10, they're going to drop back. Single coverage, and they're able to beat my best corner. And they are in for a score just like that. But did you guys see the jumps in that frame rate? It's going to continue to happen, guys. So I do apologize for that. Uh, I don't understand why... The four, uh, Elgato 4K utility does it. There it was again. But look at us. We're going to return the favor. We're going to find Bo Sparks. And Bo Sparks is looking. And he knows nobody's going to catch him with that speed that he has. But unfortunately, his own man caught him. Caught him too much of the jersey. Holding on Trenton Scott. And that's going to back us up. So like I said, guys, hope you will enjoy this video. I apologize for the quality, man, as far as the frame rates. And if the color is off, that's the reason why. I don't understand why it happens. But like I said, man, if you guys have seen it before, please give me some help and some advice on it. As here we are, guys, trying to return the favor, man. We started deep in a hole, especially after the penalty. But here we are, man. We on up to the 38-yard line. First and 10. We're going to survey the field. Find a man across the middle. We actually had Conley more wide open to the left there, but we missed him. But put a good drive together and got into a second and goal from the five. We're going to hand it off to Mahdi, and Mahdi cuts back. But he's only able to pick up a yard there. Third and goal. We're going to go with the yes. You know it. The touch pass, which has been good to us. Both sparks in for the score. Into the end zone. And he's dancing on him, shaking on him, dancing on him, shaking on him. Let's do it. Let's do it. But I will say this, guys. Don't don't fall in love with a play too much in this game, man, because especially on Heisman difficulty as I'm playing on, it will adjust. It will stuff that touch pass if you do it too much. But look at the Raging Cajun coming right back at the abused my user right there. And he cut back and here they are, man, all the way they already outside of the red zone. And he finds a man wide open and boom, big hit. But we take an even bigger hit as we give up the touchdown. And this has just been the problem, man, with my team. No defense, man. This Heisman difficulty is kicking my butt. But look at this. We're able to find him a man downfield as well. We find him sneaking behind that coverage, man. We caught him in the right formation. And here we are on a third and nine. I chuck it down thinking I was going to be able to make a move with Marty. But good tackling there. But hold on. Feeling a little... A little pressure, man. We're feeling like we have to go for it. We don't want to turn the ball back over that quick. We drop back and we find the tight end and he gets down to avoid the contact. And just like that, here we are, man. Second and 16 from the 27. And we're going to throw it up. And yes, it's a score. Able to drop that ball into the bucket. Conley is flexing on him. And he's going to shoot him with the arrow, man. Touchdown, Texas State. Boy, do we need it. Guys, if you've been watching my streams, you know that I have been in struggle mode. Three straight losses. I mean, it's been bad. But we're battling. We're battling. We're battling the, uh, <laughs> the, the lack of good players on the team as well as that Heisman difficulty, man, that plays pretty well, I might add, as we get a nice stop there on third down. You know, may have to adjust maybe a little adjustment but hold on RPO you know that's one of our favorites as well and we are going to score touchdown another big touchdown and boy again do we need it because we're going to have to continue to score because we can't stop nobody we can't stop nobody <laughs> our weakest link is clearly the secondary we're going to have to score, man. And, it's boy, it's been quite a daunting task. Chris Don Jr., man, one of our transfers. And yes, he has enough speed. 
called that RPO at the right time, man, got the blocks that we needed, and nobody's going to catch him when he's in open field. And here we are back on top, man. I just don't know how long it's going to last, so we're going to see. But here comes the Raging Cajun, man, from the 43. They're going to drop back, and he finds a man deep downfield. Beautiful catch in front of my secondary again. And I find myself having to play a lot of man coverage because the zone ratings are terrible. Man ratings are not much better, but they're better than zone. So that's why you see me run a lot of zone. I mean, a lot of uh, man and a lot of match coverage. But look at this, man. It's like Swiss cheese out there. First and goal from the four. What are they going to do here? They're going to drop back. And they have the confidence that they're going to score. And they find their start receiver as well. Secondary is deflated right there. Crowd going crazy. And just like that, man, it, it has to hurt. It has to hurt. That's why you saw the defense react the way they did because they know that they have been, ooh, big time catch. Nice catch, nice layout. But the defense knows that they have been the problem, man. But it is what it is. Here we are, guys. Fake toss. Oh, we're going to run the ball with Marty. Oh, Marty stays up. I didn't even know I was still up. That's why you saw that stutter. But he has speed, too, and he's going to score. Oh, my goodness, guys. You saw in real time right there the hesitation. That was not a move. That was me thinking that I was tackled. But Marty, with his 90-plus rating, the impact player on the team, the stud of the team, the senior who returned. I didn't think he was going to return for his senior year. Look at this, man. He's able to take on the contact and stays up. And there I go right there thinking I was down. <laughs> Took my hand off the stick and pause. <laughs> Took my hand off of the uh, left analog stick there, man. And I, I didn't think he was still up. But we were able to recover and get that touchdown. And look at the defense, man. Trying to step up on third down. Forced the punt. And here we are on third and four. We're going to go with the touch pass again. And look, I told you. Can't abuse it. Can't abuse it. We did get just enough. But now we are in a third and long situation after losing a few yards. We're going to drop back and, oh, yes, able to find Conley as we're being hit. P.J. able to find Conley across the middle. There's the touch pass again. We're going to come right back to it because we audible to it, guys, when we get the right formation. There's that frame pop again. I don't know what's going on with this Elgato software, guys. Please help me out. Again, 4K utility as we take a look at my guy, man, 1,509 career receiving yards. But, yeah, guys, if anybody knows how to fix that 4K utility software, ooh, nice run, please let me know because I have had this problem for over a year now, which is the reason why I don't. Oh, we get into the touchdown. Let me interrupt myself again, Marty, for another score. But that's the reason why I don't use this software anymore to capture. Um, it is definitely more convenient because it's right on the computer. Most of the time what I have to do is I just record the footage from the PlayStation, and then, you know, I take a USB external drive and bring it over to the computer. But I don't always like doing that because, you know, it's just an extra step that who needs. But as you can see, again, the frame rate just popped again. I hate my footage coming out like this. So, again, guys, apologize for this happening in this particular video. Won't have to see it much longer. But here they are, man, second and in inches. They're going to, oh, the quarterback is going to pull it, and he's going to find some room. Whoa, look at this, shrugging guys off of him. And here they are. They're driving again just outside of the red zone. Well, actually right at the red zone at the 20-yard line. They're going to throw it. And it is a second and five, man, down to the 14 of my Bobcats. I'm telling you guys, we just can't stop anybody. we got to get a stop somehow some way here they are second and five second and five and he just <laughs> finds his man again in front of my defense man he has all day back there that's the one thing i'm keeping an eye on guys with heisman is whether or not pass rush is is there um it looks like it's you're not getting a lot of pass rush so i may have to may have to adjust the pass blocking just a little bit because I still want it to be look at this here they come again man here they come again I still want pass rush uh you know to just you know produce some pressure but I don't want it to where I'm always getting sacks I want it to be more realistic so I'm trying to determine if it's the ratings or if it's just my you know is it Heisman or is it my players because last season I had a stud 
on my defensive line, and he got a lot of sacks. He actually won the award for a DN. But um, look at this. Look at this, man. They just, uh, just tearing us up, man. But we did force him into a 13, uh, third and 13. I said a 13. Look at this. We get an interception. Finally, my boy Eaton, my main corner. I don't know why I didn't stay in the end zone there. I got too excited, but finally we get a stop. And my impact player on defense, the best man cover corner that we have, comes up with a play. And I know the quarterback wants that one back. All he had to do was lob that thing or loft it over his head. And I think he would have been able to put it in a very good position there. But Joshua able to cut it off, man. So there we are. But here we are, guys. Here we are trying to drive again. And let's see what we could do. Woo! Beautiful throw, revamp, passing as we're going to go to Bo Sparks once again. Adding to that career receiving yardage. Look at my boy Body man. Trying to tick this clock away. As you can see, we letting that clock tick on down late here in the fourth quarter. It would be beautiful if we could score a touchdown here. That's what we're trying to do and let that clock tick, tick, tick. We're going to hand it off to the third string back. Almost got in there. I don't know how he allowed himself to get knocked back there, but luckily enough, Burgess Jr. is able to get in for him. And we're feeling pretty decent right now. Not comfortable, but decent. But like I said, guys, with the pass uh, blocking, I might have to turn it down just a touch to, to you know, create some real pressure but i'm keeping my eye on it i'm keeping my eye on it uh, i don't want to you know get testy and immediately jump to conclusions because it looks like they're just getting there but we're just not quite getting the sack so i don't know it might be in a nice sweet spot but as you can see man the raging cajun still lighting up the secondary here they are moving man first and 10 from the 40 a minute and 21 seconds left they're gonna drop back and he finds a man wide open downfield once again. And pretty much once they get in this area in the red zone, they pretty much score. And look at this. <laughs> Just like I called it. They're going to find their tight end, man. And they are in for another score. I'm telling you, this secondary, I have a feeling that myself, the defensive coordinator, will be fired perhaps after this season. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And I'm trying to get a head coaching job. But look at me being testy here, man. They gave me the look that I wanted, and I was like, I'm going to test my guns and see if I can put the dagger in them. Didn't work. Brings up a second and 10. We're going to hand it off, keep the ball on the ground, and then we're going to get it to fourth and six, 51-yard kick. And, of course, if we can hit this thing, we can put it on ice. It's up. It's long. It is good. And we are going to finally get a victory Man, maybe it's the curse of the stream. <laughs> but we're finally going to get a victory. But like I showed you guys on stream, I showed you the previous games. All of the games pretty much that I won were high-scoring games, with the exception of one. But most of them were high-scoring games because I literally have to outscore the opponent. My defense just does not hold it together. But, man, finally, we get us a victory. Look at the player of the game, man. P.J. Hatter doing a decent job there. Threw a pick, I believe, in this game. But, hey, 332 yards, three touchdowns. I'm not going to complain. Marty showed up with the running. He was over 100 yards. All of my receivers did a really, you know, fairly decent job. They came up big when they needed to. Bo Sparks, of course. Conley came up big. Wilson didn't do so much this game. But here again, man, I'm going to keep complaining about this. I don't understand why you don't have an option to show both. I don't get that here. You got to go back and forth. So I'm just kind of showing you guys, you know, their uh, stats here. And sometimes, as you guys are going to see here, when I switch back to Texas State, it's going to get stuck. Like it sticks for whatever reason. And I have to back out and come back. But they, they were able to rush for 97 yards and 96 yards. Or, no, that's passing. Excuse me. That's receiving. But look, right here, I'm on passing. See where it says passing, but it won't show it. <laughs> it continues to show uh, receiving. Crazy. So here it is. Finally, I'm back to it. And there you are. There you are, 184 rating. Did not throw an interception. I thought he did, man. But 23 for 33, 332, three touchdowns. 
Heck of a day for P.J. Hatter. Ismail Mahdi, 15 for 133 with two touchdowns. Can't be mad at that. And look at Bo Sparks, man, um, you know, kind of leading the way. Nobody really had a ton of receiving yards. Don Jr. actually had the most receiving yards. And then defensively, as you can see, uh, Dean, uh, Dion, excuse me, McKinley, 10 total tackles. And that is how the cookie is going to crumble. Right there. So, all right, guys, man, listen, I definitely appreciate everybody tuning in. Before you go, of course, I'm going to remind you guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, be looking out for the stream, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.